Until recently, I was what they call a wildly incompetent home cook. I was a guy who'd pour a bowl of cereal and say, oh, hey, look, I can cook. What a catch I was. But now I love cooking, and I want to start sharing a mix of recipes that I think are pretty easy, simple things that can get you started in the kitchen, getting you to start feeling confident, and the kind of recipes that keep me interested in cooking. I'm going to start with this burrito recipe, which is what got me off my ass and into the kitchen. A few years ago, my wife was making it about two to three times per week because it's a really simple thing to make on like a weekday, for example. Uh, and slowly but surely, I started getting to the kitchen, chopping the veggies, and then eventually I just wanted to know how to do it myself. Turns out it's pretty damn easy once you try. Now before we get started, just a quick note on burritos to acknowledge where they came from. Nobody really knows for sure. But my favorite theory is that it was a street vendor in Chihuahua, Mexico, who was wrapping his food in a flour tortilla while traveling around during the Mexican Revolution in the early 20th century. Now, what was he traveling on, you ask? A little donkey. Or a burrito. A burrito. Now let's make our burrito. So we're starting off with a bit of olive oil, just enough to sloosh it around on the pan, then a cup of rice, two cups of water, get that boiling, and then turn it down once it's boiling, and you want that to simmer. Then chopping up an onion, like so, going liggity split. You can dice them or just leave them as long strands, whatever you prefer, pretty much. Then sprinkle a couple onto your skillet to see if they're sizzling. Once they're sizzling, dump all those onions in there. Put a little bit of salt, start seasoning here. Mix that around just a tidge. Start peeling your carrots, chop up your bell peppers, or rather bell pepper, I just use one, that's enough for two people. Chop off the top and the butt of your zucchini. I like to quarter it, that's what that's what my wife taught me. And then here's what I really like, because once you do it, it looks like, holy hell, I actually know what I'm doing here. Again, cut off the top and the butt of the carrot, and then really chop that up however you want, in whatever size you want. Crush the garlic with your hands, and then that'll loosen up the skin. You can peel that off, and then get to dicey dicey. Then once everything's kind of marinated in there for about five to seven minutes with the ovens, with the ovens, with the onions, and they're translucent, you can go ahead and dump all of your veggies in there. Start seasoning. I use cumin, smoked paprika, and this taco seasoning we get from a little place called Chili and Paprika here in Berlin. But really, you can put whatever you like in there. Then when you're ready for your can of black beans, rip it off. It'll probably break. That happens. Get frustrated. Then find a way to pry it open. Toss it into your strainer. Get all whatever gooiness that's in there off. If you like the gooiness, go ahead and I guess just toss it in there, but I, I just like it how it is. I just want the black beans. Toss it into your skillet. Give it another layer of seasoning. Mix that up. Don't forget about your lime juice. I usually do either half a lime or a whole lime, whatever I've got handy. Squeeze that in there. Mix it up once again. You can see that the rice is done. It was boiling. I turned it down to a low heat and just let it, you know, sit there until I'm ready to eat it. But make sure it's not burning. You can always check on that as often as you want. There's our close-up of the simmering goodness. Now layering my burrito, do a little, about a spoonful of Greek yogurt, slide that across, layer of rice, layer of the mixed bean and veggie goodness. I've got some pickled red cabbage that I'm putting on top here. Picking off some parsley because I guess it looks nice, I don't know. Yeah, I don't really taste it, but it's fine. Then some cheese, some Cholula hot sauce. Then I start rolling this up using my non-existent Chipotle skills to the best of my ability. And there we go. Mazels, we got a burrito. Cutting it in half because that seems like a thing I guess you should do at the end of food videos to show the inside. I don't actually ever do this, except for now. There you go. There's the burrito that I make maybe once or twice a week. Little Moses likes it too. No matter how intimidated you feel by the kitchen, you should just really give this recipe a try. It quickly became second nature to me. You can really customize it to whatever your tastes are, your own salsas, your favorite spices, whatever you want. And it's a great building block to start feeling more comfortable in the kitchen. Besides, who doesn't love a freaking burrito? You'll make more friends if you know how to make a good burrito. If you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll answer it. Probably, maybe. Better yet, tell me what was the first dish you started cooking to feel confident in the kitchen.